All kinds of people can learn to use computers to solve problems and express themselves. Whether you are a lover of languages, cheerleader, history buff or a math magician, you can learn to use computer science as a tool to express your creativity, like crayons, instruments or dance moves. You've learned a lot from our time together. Here's a small recap. Computers can be used to solve problems, help communication and express creativity. All kinds of people use computers in all kinds of ways. Computer scientists make new software, solve problems and develop different ways to use technology. I can decompose, spot patterns, understand abstraction and think algorithmically. Computers speak in a language called code. This language is made of ones and zeros. Humans write code with different programming languages. The languages look different, but they all have things in common. Most programming languages use the concepts of sequence, repetition and selection. Algorithms are step-by-step -step instructions to solving problems. Algorithms can also decide what kind of ads we see, the videos we watch and books recommended to us. Data can be numbers, words or pictures, but also likes, votes and clicks. Computers are good at sorting and searching through big amounts of data. Scratch is a programming language used to make stories and games. Computers are made of hardware and software. The software is the programs, applications and data in a computer. The hardware is the physical parts of a computer system, like the display screen and the keyboard. Computers have components that each have a special task. There are hundreds of computers in our everyday life. Computers have input and output devices. Computers use sensors to learn about the world. The Internet is made of physical parts like servers and routers. The Internet is also made of software, like websites or data that travels as packets. The Internet is not owned by any one company or person. We are all building it. Computers learn through looking at lots of examples of data. This is called machine learning. Training data can be made up of pictures, texts, clicks or something else. Computer scientists try to make training data free of bias. The tasks that are easy for us humans are not easy for computers. Computer science is not just using the computer. Computer scientists can come from all walks of life. It's great to have many interests in addition to computer science. Things we learn as a child stick with us. And that is why it's so awesome you, with your special interests and outlook on the world, have decided to learn about computer science. Computers belong to everyone. And it's up to you to take computer science into the future. <laughs>